today on Running to Him. Now, God rewards repentance and submission. Now, if you're joining us in going through the books of Ezra, Nehemiah, and Esther, today's reading is Esther chapter 7, verse 7 through 8, 7, and we will concentrate on verses 8, 1 through 2. Now, Esther 8, 1 through 2 says this, On that day, King Ahasuerus gave the house of Haman, the enemy of the Jews, to Queen Esther. And Mordecai came before the king, for Esther had disclosed what he was to her. And the king took off his signet ring, which he had taken away from Haman, and he gave it to Mordecai. And Esther set Mordecai over the house of Haman. Well, the response to the edict to murder the Jews is the principle that God wants us to use in our daily lives. Repentance and submission are the keys to a strong walk with Christ and is something which many of us are missing today. Now, over the past few months, I've visited several churches online with their services. Some of them have been very good technologically, but were not sound theologically. Others have been very good theologically, but their technical expertise is, shall we say, lacking. But there have been several which have pieced together both the technical and the theological, and they've done it very well. These are the churches that have the greatest chance to minister to those at home during the COVID virus crisis. Now, what I am not saying is that those who are doing well are spending vast amounts of money to put on a show. As a matter of fact, one church had been very cautious with their spending, and they um, decided that it was producing good context with sound theology was optimal. Now, I know in the case of this church that many hours were spent in prayer, asking God to show them how exactly to proceed. Their recognition that they were inadequately prepared for a shutdown, but desirous of ministry, paved the way for good ministry. And this is what we need in our lives if we're to have a successful walk with Christ. We are to practice repentance and submission. There are very few of us who have the time or the money to go to a Bible-believing seminary or to get a degree and, um, or go to a Bible college of some kind. But that alone will neither help nor hinder our walk with Christ. Only our understanding of who we are and what we need will determine how successful we are in that walk with Christ. Now, what we are trying to accomplish in our walk is this. Do we want to become more like Christ or do we want to become someone else? The time we spend either with God or don't spend with him will determine our success. If given the opportunity, going to a great seminary or Bible college will help us prepare scholastically. But only if our submission to Christ through the Holy Spirit will we be prepared for our walk with him. Now the question is, will we be like Esther and Mordecai, entirely placing our trust in God in repentance, or will we try to talk a good game, but in reality be drowning in our pride and our sinfulness? For listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. If you listen to us on Facebook or YouTube, please like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. You can always email us at phineasjacobus at runningtohim.net.